Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC Pack 14 news and updates here on the channel, guys. We actually have a pretty big amount of info that just dropped, uh, I want to say maybe like an hour or two ago or whatever. I was asleep as I always am. That's going to become a meme at this point, but I'm excited because I was not expecting them to drop info this early on. Usually they do it around like the 14th or the 15th midway through each month that they do like uh you know a trailer reveal or a content city tv broadcast but we got some more insight so i ain't complaining let's go ahead and get into this so this is from the dragon ball official site this is probably going to be what is shown on v jump uh i want to say in like a week or two so new info on Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 Content City Pole DLC Awakened Warrior Pack. Guys, I think I'm just going to start calling this the Awakening Pack or Awakened Pack 1. Or like whatever I was calling it before because they keep changing up the name so I don't care. Uh, the name doesn't really matter. But the very first uh, you know, prominent image here that is pretty important is this. As you can see, we have Ultra Instinct Sign Goku like absolutely bodying. Janemba, okay, not really bodying, but he, he's slap, he, he beating the shit out of Janemba, and it's funny looking, okay? So, let me go ahead and zoom out here, because this gets all screwed up, but let's go ahead and read this. The hit action game, Dragon Ball Universe 2, has confirmed a free update in the Content City D DLC Awakened Warrior Pack for release in the summer of this year. So, it's like, even on the official English website, they're refer, refer I can't even speak, guys. <gasps> they're referring to this as the Awakened Warrior Pack. Like, they don't even really want to call it the Content city vote pack because it just they know it sounds stupid all right so new extra mission dlc we got some new shots here of the book okay not a new shot but um one of the screenshots from the trailer of the buddha and it looks like our time patroller will be interacting with few now let me actually see what this joint says real quick because i'm curious Debora had been floating around the crack of time as a stone statue after being petrified but now he's back and out to return to uh, out to return the demon realm to its former glory. Okay, that's kind of everything we already knew. While Dabura looks for powerful warriors to add to his ranks. Warriors, plural. All right, that's important. This time you'll have to team up with few and face another rewriting of history in order to stop him. This sounds like infinite history follow-up, even though we kind of knew that already. Um, it, it seems like that's that's what they're going to go for. Um, if you guys remember from Extra Pack 2, we had that same sort of situation or whatever. I'll do another video after this, breaking down my personal thoughts and my predictions on how the story mode will go. But this is pretty great. I'm excited about this. I'm still curious as to what they mean by new extra... When they say new extra mission, I think it's going to be infinite history. I think it's going to be a pretty, <clears throat> pretty big thing. Because this is one single mission that's going to have, like, sub plots and shit to it. So, look at this. We have a new shot of Goku and um, Dispo. Dispo looks hilarious. <laughs> he looks so... Bro, he looks so derpy. What the hell? Why does he look like this? Okay, so I think this is him, like, you know... This is obviously Goku fighting Janemba in um, that new stage, the, the, the Wasteland... Uh, volcanic wasteland stage aka uh <laughs> reskin i i really shouldn't be complaining we got a new stage whatever the reskin of the destroyed namek stage goku looks great and it's weird i guess you're gonna fight janemba or like they i don't know are they gonna team up dispo and goku i mean it's gotta have parallel quests related to them right so um yeah dispo looks good bro he looks really good <laughs> walmart beerus let's go let's fucking go <laughs> i'm excited so uh, new parallel quest. We know that they were always going to be dropping new parallel quests and stuff. In this parallel quest, Ultra Instinct Sign Goku and Universe 11 Supersonic Hero Dispo take center stage, stand against an unthinkable threat that could never arise in the canon storyline. Whoa. Man, bro. You can't be doing that. You can't be throwing around that word. Your Dragon Ball fans are going to shit on you. Oh, shit. Look at this, bro. Okay, so I did see this earlier. But God fucking damn. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 has some of the best art in any Dragon Ball game. I'm just gonna say it. Alright, I'm just gonna say it. 
okay and i'm not talking about their renders i'm talking about the the dlc loading screen or work like these are literally meant to be like shit that you want to fucking put on your your wall i'm sorry i'm swearing way too much okay unnecessary i apologize but this looks absolutely fantastic was is this fenyo style or what Could, like i don't even know it looks so different it's so unconventional it's like Dragon Ball Legends artwork with the shading and all that, but it's just like way more dynamic. Like this is this is eye candy. This is nut material right here, guys. Are you kidding me? So, new artwork to <clears throat> customize your loading screen. It's going to be this one is DLC obviously because it's so well done, and then they have a free one here which is oh now I know for a fact that's got to be Fenyo. This is awesome and I love that it's Gohan and Piccolo. You know why they're doing this, right? Y'all know why, okay? Even if they don't give us superhero DLC content in this specific pack, which would make sense, they're gonna try their best to kind of, you know, hype it up in a way, in a different way. So this is this is got this is awesome, and this is free, guys. This shit free. These look amazing. Now these are not um, related. To anything for Canton City, these are just new artwork that they're, that they're going to be throwing in there. So, just keep that in mind, okay? New loading screen art is coming. This time, you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to get art featuring uh, UI sign Goku and Jiren as the DLC with another one being Gohan and Piccolo for free. But it's not just these two. Even more new art is scheduled for release. We know they drop a tremendous amount of artwork slash renders and stuff. Paid DLC Legend Patrol Pack confirmed for PS. Whoa! Okay. Now, that is what I'm talking about. What? Bro, how long did this take them? How long did this take them? This took them, took these motherfuckers, five years. Maybe more. Five years or more. I think it dropped in 2017 on the Switch version. If you guys don't know what Legend Patrol is, we're finally able... I'm going to be playing... Guys, would you want to see me do a, a story mode playthrough of this? I'm talking um, in my story mode, not the modded, not the PC one. I'm talking about my PS4 original game that I played and, you know, I bought and played through. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me do a DLC story mode. This would be fun, bro. Maybe we'll do it on PC because I can use mods. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I'm excited about this. I'm very happy about this. Um, This was the original Xenoverse 1 story mode that they integrate so that you can replay through that, which... I would have to argue is the better story mode. I just liked it way more. It was cooler. The ending and everything about it was great. Okay. It felt like it was something really, really unique. And Xenoverse 2 story mode is cool too, but it was pretty much Xenoverse 1 story mode. It was literally almost the same. They just threw in a couple of movie villains and stuff. So Legend Patrol pack available for Nintendo Switch has been confirmed. Okay. So this is excellent news, guys. Everything about this all this information that they presented it just keeps getting better it just keeps getting better so summary new parallel quests okay which we know um new extra mission so story mission new loading screens there's gonna be a ton of them and legend patrol pack coming it's something that you gotta buy though which is kind of annoying but i mean it is what it is so thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'll try my best to post more informative videos that are at least more exciting. Um, I got a comment the other day of, uh, you know, somebody said that like they, some of the videos that I was posting were kind of pointless because they didn't, they weren't really revealing anything new. And that's only because I know people are going to ask me to talk about confirmed, like actual confirmed info okay whenever it gets revealed that's the only reason why i'm doing it and plus i love to have interaction with you guys in the comments as you guys know if you read the comments i'm always there replying and trying to read at least as many as i possibly can that's what i enjoy doing okay so i do apologize if any videos in the future maybe just aren't really that exciting or new in a way for info but if it's confirmed info that we've just speculated about then i will cover a video on it okay and if you don't like that type of content, you can absolutely unsub. You can absolutely not watch it. I'm, I'm, I promise. Like, no, no, everybody's going to win that way, okay? But thanks for your support. To those of you that do enjoy the content and like speculation and support every single video, that means a lot. That means a lot to me. Use code SLOW on G Fuel. Peace. <laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe or else I'll destroy your entire planet!